hey hello guys welcome back to core mode after um, duration of few weeks so I have not been able to upload any videos for two or maybe three weeks in today's video we are going to take a look at the animated uh, bottom navigation bar there are few different ways to do the same thing of making these animated but the step I am currently doing is I think the easiest way to do the animation on the bottom navigation bar so this tutorial can even be uh, for beginners to anybody who want to just know how so let's see the demo you can see the animation anim the icons are animated over here and when we change the uh, when we change the index of the bottom navigation bar the icons the previously selected icons go back to their normal state and the new icon new selected icon uh, animates to the new state new animation state you can see So this is what we are going to make today. Some page here. Uh, it's a simple page with three bottom navigation items. You can see the first item is menu item. Menu has a menu icon, and the second one has a event icon, and the last one has a play arrow icon and I have given them different labels so if we change the index of uh, if we click on any of the button it changes the index here so this is a simple bottom navigation bottom navigation bar so we are going to change this bottom navigation bar to an animated one so first of all we will have to know a few different things uh, the bottom items will have three different stages of animations the first stage is uh, when the item is clicked like this so and the second stage is when the item is uh, when the item is changed so when the currently the selected item is this event one and when we change it to the movies so it will change and the animation should restore to the original point and the third one is the idle animation the three different animations are when the animation is clicked when the item is clicked away and when the items are idle so let's create the three animation over here so i will give one the idle animation the name of idle animation and let's create the two uh, remaining ones so the second one will be on selected animation and the third one will be on change animation so let's initialize the animations here on the init state So first of all, we will have to uh, extend the bottom navigation page with ticker provider to use the vSync on the animation controller here. So okay, we have uh, added our ticker provider state mix in here. So now we can initialize our animations and mission controllers over the init state um, function method so let's do that Sorry, animation controller and the basic will be this okay let's create a uh, duration first
let's give it a duration of 700 milliseconds the ideal animation won't be needing the duration so let's get to let's initialize the other two so okay let's save and run the app now now we need to do something different over here so to determine which uh, uh, to determine where the animation uh, which which animation to play on the icon here we need to first uh, define the selected index as well as we have to define the previous uh, item selected so when we change from one navigation button to the another, another navigation button so we can uh, run the change animation on the previous one so let's define this first also so let's give it a value of 0 to for now so let's keep it null so let's let us not give uh, any value for now so now what we need to do is we need to change our icons to the animated icon so the bottom navigation bar item is the widget so we can use any other widget as our icon so let's change it to animated icon our first uh, value to define is the icon value here so the icon will be animated I animated icon so let's give it a predefined animated icons so so let uh, me add let me set the icon to uh, home so the progress we we have to define an animation on this progress so this will change depending upon the selected value so this is the animation value so for this we can define the other progress based on the animation we have to play sorry the based on the selected item so we have to play the unselected animation if the icon is unselected and we have to return back to the previous state we will run the unchanged animation and uh, and if the item uh, if this icon is an idle state we will be using the default idle animation here so let's define that so if the selected index is 0 which is it's uh, this items index uh, we have to play the unselected animation and if it is if the previous index is the is this index we will have to play the unchanged animation and on by default we will give it a idle animation okay so our statement has been done so the first one we have to do is run the unselected animation here so first let's let us reset the animation what uh, what this does is uh, it will reset the animation to the uh, normal value so it will set the animation value to zero and after the animation is reset, we need to run the animation forward. So, so we have run the animation forward here. So let's save it and let's see what is going to happen. Okay. 
you can see our animation has run on this item but when we go to the different uh, navigation bar the animation uh, resets but it does not uh, reset with a smooth value so first part of our animation is done so let us define this animation icon on the on other different animation bar items navigation bar items so we can copy and paste it over there too so let's paste it here and let's change the icon to event aid icon and let's and we have to define the index here so the index of this item is 1 and let's paste this one here too and the icon will be and the icon of this item will be play pause icon so the index of this item is 2 now let's uh, run and see what is going to happen okay you can see our animated icon has been set here so let's go to the events page you can see the events animation is running and the menu animation is resetting to the home icon and let's go to the movies page here you can see the animation of this event is resetted because we have set this item to the set the animation value to the idle animation if it is not clicked so the first part is running correctly so now what we need to do is when we go to uh, go from one item to another we need to reset the animation reset the animation with a uh, animation so it is resetting without any animation so you can see you can take a look at this pause animation here so if we change this animation if we change the navigation item we can see the animation isn't playing so it is going rapidly from uh, sorry it is changing the animation rapidly so we need to define our on updated animation sorry on changed animation here and first of all to define the on changed animation we need to update the value of this previous index here so when the item is clicked here the item is tapped the previous index will be the selected index that is uh, previously here so let's uh, do that so you can see what this will do is uh, we this will set the previous index to the currently clicked and the previously clicked uh, item here and this will update the selected index to the newly clicked uh, sorry newly clicked item so we have done that we have set our previous index and selected index now we need to update the animation as well so to know the logic uh, what we are going to do we need to first uh, reverse the animation of the previous item so to reverse the animation we first need to complete the animation or the animation value needs to be completed so the, how the animation value works is it always goes from 0 to 1 so to set the state of the animation as completed we can uh, set the value of animation to 1 so our on sorry our on changed animation value will be 1 first this will make sure that the animation is uh, on the completed state so now we need to reverse this animation ok let's save it and run it ok let's see we can see the animation of the previous item is changed and the uh, animation of new item is also changed so you can take a look at this icon here 
it will smoothly go back to the previous state here state if we change the item you can see the animation has run when we change the item also you can as well see on this item too so you can see on this demo the animation is working perfectly so after our animation has been initialized we also need to dispose the animation too so we need to dispose the animation on dispose method so let's override the dispose, override the dispose method here and dispose the animations So this is uh, pretty much it. I will leave the GitHub link of this code here on the description. So you can also check out the code of this bottom navigation, sorry animated bottom navigation. So that's it for today guys. Don't forget to leave a like on my channel and I will be making different uh, content on Flutter like this one. Uh, based on animation and UI so if you like what I am doing here don't forget to leave a like as well as don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you uh, want to suggest me some new kind of videos that I might be able to do you can suggest me on the comment box thank you for watching see you on the next video